In this video, we're going to learn about code template. Once you have created your code, you would like to share it with your customer. To do that, we'll first create a template. The template creation process consists of creating a te code template, then adding your logos to the document folder in CPQ, then creating a template content sections and at the last line columns. Now let me jump into CPQ and we'll do the first step. We're going to create a code template. Let's give it the name as the Samba template. And let's fill in some information like my company, if you have state, say IN, postal code, email, country, and I'll hit save. So the first step is to create a code template. The next step is to add the logos. To do that, we need to now go into the classic view. Then we will look into the document folder over here. Over here, I already have uploaded a company logo, which I'll just copy paste the ID of this particular company logo. And if I go back to the template that I was working with, template Samba template edit I will specify the document ID over here similarly if I have a watermark I'll go ahead and specify the watermark also I hit save the first two steps are done it's creating a code template and logos then we need to create template content to do that let's again go back to cpq say content now let's create few content like the top header so we'll say template top now this comes pre-built with certain fields as such if i want to go ahead and change it i can change this particular template top and just save it then if i go back and again search for templates I can create a cover page for example I already have a cover page over here and if I want to edit it I'll say we are delighted to present to you code for amount and then I'm going to use a merge field which will pick up the amount net amount for that particular code let's say Now let's go back to our template again. The Samba template. Over here, all these line columns are automatically added. Now if I want to add new section over here, I'll go ahead and add a section name top. I'll have template top as a content. Top margin, I'll say one. Bottom margin, I'll say one. I'll hit save. Then I'm going to add one more section by name cover page. I'll add the content cover page. The 
if I'll say two bottom margin two, and I would say I need a page break before this particular, or I need a page break after this. I hit save. <coughs> the next one I want to display the product line onto the code template. So I'll mark it as product lines in the content. I have a product line. I say margin as one. This is one. I hit save. One thing that we need to do now is we need to specify the display order of all these sections. So I'll say this is ten. Then cover page we will say is twenty. And then we have got product lines, which will say as thirty. Now let's see how this template looks like when we try to run it from an existing code. So I'll go to a code. I'll open that code. Say generate document. Select the Samba template, the preview. Now, this is how it looks like. I have got my company name, the logo that I added on the top, the data that I enter in the header, and what I am trying to sell over here. So, this was my cover page. We are delighted to present. And on the next page, we have our line items. Now from where are these column heading coming? Quantity, part, quant description. They all are coming from the line. So let me show you column line. So if I go back to my template, these are the ones quantity, part, number, description. Those we are showing it over here. Now if we observe, unit price is going beyond the range. So to do that, we'll go and edit the unit price will make its width as 20. Save. And we'll try to generate this document again. So cancel. If I go back and look at the product line now, the width of this column has increased a lot. So this is how you can keep on customizing the template as per your own business scenario. So just to reiterate, we just created a code template where we first created a template, then uploaded the logo, then we created template content sections, and the last, we can go ahead and create line items. Thank you.